Hi, I'm Steve Schofield. I'm an entomologist. Indeed, I'm actually a medical entomologist. And what that means is I work with bugs. In particular, I work with things like mosquitoes and tetchy flies and stable flies, pretty much anything that bites you. And I want to talk a little bit about ants. They're amazing. There's about 100 species in Canada and they range in size from really small, about a millimeter, to over a centimeter in length. Uh, some of them are really good. Uh, they eat garbage. Uh, they kill insects we don't want. Uh, they overturn the earth. Uh, others aren't so good at all. Things like carpenter ants, for example, they can eat wood, including in our houses. Uh, so they're fascinating creatures. Cockroaches. They were here well before the dinosaurs, about 400 million years ago. They'll probably be here long after we are gone. They eat almost anything. Uh, they eat vegetables. Uh, they'll eat meat. Uh, and they're very adaptable. They live in houses. They live outside of houses. We find them almost everywhere. Indeed, they can even be problems because they cause allergies and they can transmit pathogens that cause diseases. Crickets, you've probably heard me in the evening. I make noise, sometimes I keep you awake. I rub my wings together and that keeps us up at night. But I can actually do good things as well. For example, when I'm outside, if I'm a field cricket, I can do things like eat grasshopper eggs. And that means that grasshoppers don't become a problem in gardens or fields or other things. Uh, so I'm actually quite a useful insect. Dragonflies are quite interesting. Indeed, as a larva, they're kind of like the great white shark of the insect world. They'll grab other insects, they'll grab tadpoles, they'll even grab small fish. And after living for a couple of years in a stream or a lake, they'll emerge as an adult, where they're also predaceous. They'll grab mosquitoes, they'll grab deer flies, they'll grab horse flies, they'll grab just about anything. So we really like dragonflies because they actually get rid of a lot of the insects we don't want to bite us. There's lots of different types of fleas out there, but we usually find them in our cats and dogs. Indeed, the type we usually find is called the cat flea. Now, we all know that they're blood feeders. They feed on dogs, they feed on cats, they even feed on humans. Perhaps you didn't know they're the champion jumpers of the insect world. They can jump about a foot and a half high. If they were a human, that means they could jump right over a skyscraper. You've probably all heard grasshoppers. They rub their wing and their legs together to make noise. They're vegetarians, but they can do a lot of damage. Uh, to field crops, but what you probably didn't know was that grasshoppers are considered a delicacy in many countries where the people quite enjoy grabbing and eating as many grasshoppers as they can find. Okay, Japanese beetles, you might think I'm pretty as an adult. I'm shiny green, I'm shiny bronze, but in reality, I like to eat about anything or just about anything I can see, trees, vegetables, or any other plant material. So I do a lot of damage and indeed, even as a larva, I do damage because I eat the roots of grass. So if you see big bare spots in your front lawn, it's probably because I, the Japanese beetle larva, have eaten the roots of that grass. Ladybugs are voracious predators. Just like a lion jumping on an antelope, they jump on aphids only at a much higher rate, sometimes 50 or 100 aphids a day. Indeed, over their lifetime, an adult ladybug can eat several thousand aphids. As a result, they can be very important in our gardens where they help to control the pests that eat our food. I love mosquitoes. It's what I do for my job. You probably all know they feed on us. Perhaps you didn't know it's only the females that feed on you. Now what the females do is they land on you and they jab their drill right into you. Now sometimes we think they go into a blood vessel, but that's not always the case. What they might do is jab their drill into you and scoop around looking for a little bit of food. When they find it, they suck it up over about a minute or two. The other really important thing about mosquitoes is that, particularly in other countries, they can give people diseases. In some areas of Africa, they are responsible for the transmission of malaria. It's a very dangerous disease. Over a million children a year die from malaria, all because of the mosquito. There are all kinds of different varieties of stink bugs, but in common, they sort of have the shape of a shield. Uh, they're not very long, typically five, six, seven millimeters long. And importantly, they can be pests in our garden and other areas. Now, you usually can tell stink bugs because if you get close to them or if you squish them, they release a substance that is really, really smelly. Now, if you've ever looked outside and you've seen a twig that looks like it's moving, it's probably a walking stick. Walking sticks are long, narrow insects that look like twigs. Now, why do they look like twigs? They look like twigs to help them hide from predators. They're actually quite nice insects. They're not dangerous at all. All they eat is plant material. Visit the website to try this and tons of other activities that we've built just for you. Check out andycamper.com. Come on campers, let's get outside.